Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bass and today we are on beautiful Owyhee Reservoir in South Dakota. This is part of the Missouri River and we are going to do a challenge video. The smallmouth here are incredibly aggressive. The water is warm. The, the river has risen and the fish are moving up with it. So there's an amazing reaction bite. It should be a lot of fun. Just a couple of days ago, we were on Lake Superior in Michigan. The water temp was 42 degrees. But fast forward after a couple of days of driving, we land here at Oahe. Water is high 70s, low 80s. We're in sun gear, shorts and flip flops, and these fish are chomping. We realized when we put the boat in the water at the boat ramp and got bit right off the bat, right there at the ramp, that we had something special. We did not need to do a lake breakdown video. You can catch them on virtually anything. So instead, we're gonna, we're gonna get some excitement going. We've got 10 different baits rigged up. Spinner bait, top water, jerk bait, Kytex, tubes, net rig, a bunch of different stuff. We're gonna see if we can catch fish on a huge variety of baits here on Oahe before we get back on the road. So here we go, 10 baits, Let's see if we can pull it off. Well, I'm not sure that's gonna count towards our limit. I almost lipped it, that would have been genius, huh? But it's still a fun little catch. That one ate a dark sleeper. Little mega bass bait. Tim really turned me onto this bait last year. We'll keep chucking it here for a second. We should be able to get him. This one ate the dark sleeper. He's got a lure in his back. Would you look at that? We're out here in the middle of nowhere, like 10 miles from a boat ramp. And this, this smallmouth has got a jerk bait stuck to his back. That's crazy. All right, that one, again, he ate that dark sleeper. Now this lake, I don't know when these fish spawned, but this water's hot. So they definitely spawned a long time ago. This lake is over 300,000 acres. That's big. Uh, it's not Lake Superior big, 22 million acres, but this is the third largest freshwater reservoir in the country. It's massive. So you can imagine my relief when we pulled up to the boat ramp and caught one right away. We weren't gonna have to come, down, come out here and search for him and do a breakdown. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. We'll set the dark sleeper aside, see what else they'll eat. You're helping? Yes. You gonna help me get him? Did you get him? Yes, you got him! Pick him up! <laughs> Alright! Good team for you. That's number two. <laughs> that one ate. It's the standard. My neck. Good job, guys. Good job, Sierra. That one came on a standard Kitek on a guppy head. Let's try something different. We'll go to some straight reaction for a fish or two. We'll mix it up, try a square bill.
small one, but we'll take him. A guy ate the square bill. Dad, I said I you. you guys realize we are still on the first point. We drove like 10 miles up the lake, just picked a random place to stop. We're gonna try a lipless now. This lake is incredible in terms of number of fish. The quality maybe not so much, but the number of fish is just out of this world. This is probably the best place we've stopped in the whole country to bring a family to just wail on these fish. We'll see if they'll eat a lipless. He's on it. He's on it. He almost ate on a figure eight. That was crazy. I hope you guys saw that jump. That was awesome. That one went for an LV500. And boy, did he want it. <laughs> All right, this time we're going with an easy shiner on the back of a screw head. Gives a very, very different action in the water. The screw head is spinning much like a spy bait causes the swim bait itself to get very erratic, get a lot of movement to it. It's a very subtle bait and you fish it slow. We learned about this one up on the Great Lakes. I missed the sauger on the cast before up here. Sauger. Oh, you got one and he's big. That one, that one barely counts, but we're gonna take it and we're gonna keep on moving. All right, we just made a move. We saved some of the fun baits for last. We've got a tube, a Ned rig, spinner bait, a popper, and a jerk bait left to go. We made a move hoping to find some bigger fish because there are definitely some fish in here bigger than those little tiny guys. Hopefully we can connect with them. We're gonna try another spot here. We're trying to find some better fish and we've still got half our baits left. We've got a Ned Rig, tube, spinner bait, jerk bait, and a popper left to go. Hopefully we can find a really nice kicker fish in the mix. Vicious fish, crazy pike. He messed that jerk bait up. I'm gonna have to sit down and re rig. Well, that pike just completely mangled this Lucky Craft flash minnow, destroyed the hooks. Rather than sitting down and dealing with it, I think we're gonna thank whatever local left this Rapala in the back of that first smallmouth. Let's see if we can't catch a fish on it. Well, it took one cast, but it's not the right species. We'll keep going. Gotta get that small mouth. You bugger.
<laughs> Man, he ate it. Look at that. Huge thanks to the local that left that hanging on the back of a smallmouth for us. Appreciate it. A little rapala jerkbait. one on the tube. That brings us down to the final two. Ned rig and a popper. We'll see. I think I'm going to try and get the Ned rig fish first so we can end with some good fun. one on the Ned Rig. That fish would not come in. Oh, and he broke off. Close one. Ned rig, that's that new Ned bomb, a missile baits. Nice small mouth. And that brings us back to our last bait. It is the middle of the day. It's almost two o'clock. So this challenge has taken us four hours. It's almost two o'clock and the only bait left is a popper. Think we can get it done in the middle of the day? I hope so. Oh, you've got to love already being on the road away from the lake when you discover that the final clip from Lake Oahe has no audio whatsoever. Welcome to our lives. Guys, Lake Oahe was awesome. I'm really sorry you didn't get audio for that last clip, but here's the gist of it. We had a blast. The fishing in South Dakota, completely underrated. There are so many fish in that lake I would say there were more fish per acre that I physically saw with my eyes. Catfish everywhere. Uh, tons of carp, tons of pike, tons of gar, tons of smallmouth. More fish per acre than probably anywhere I've been in my life. I was blown away at the amount of life that was in Oahe. It's way out there in the middle of nowhere, but I'm telling you right now that other than the getting there, that is a family friendly destination. That's a place that you can catch a pile of fish. There were a lot of boats out there, but every single one of them was there walleye fishing. There was nobody bass fishing. We had that place all to ourselves. The fish were crazy. They ate almost anything we threw. We thought we were going there to do a breakdown video. We got on the water right at the ramp, started smashing fish and realized right away, there's no breakdown video to be shot here. All anybody needs to do here is just show up. You're gonna have a ball. So we took 10 baits that we thought would be fun. You guys know that I prefer power fishing over finesse fishing. So of course the finesse baits had to hang till the end, but it was a ball. If you guys ever get the chance, South Dakota, Lake Oahe, way out there in the middle of nowhere, is stacked with fish. What a neat fishery. Guys, we're making our way home from here. We're gonna make a couple more stops, but for the most part, it's just gonna be family vacation after this. It's been an amazing journey going around the country. We've gone lake to lake to lake. We have been very blessed to have amazing experiences 
everywhere that we stopped. We've had crazy weather, no way around that. We've had some wild weather, but we have met some of the neatest people, had great experiences, didn't run into a rude person anywhere in this country. You watch the news, you hear all this bad. We were in 22 states. We never had a run in with a rude person. We met awesome people everywhere we went. We had a blast driving around this incredible country that we're all blessed to live in. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed this series, hit that like button, share it with your friends. We will be back on the road again shortly. This is just the beginning. When we told you this was a year of travel, we meant it. We are going to keep right on trucking. We want to meet as many members of the Tactical Bassin family as possible. We want to experience as many of your fisheries as possible. We want you to experience the awesome places that we stop. So when you head out there on the road, you know which ones to stop at too, because there are some great lakes out there. Guys, we appreciate you. Again, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, share these videos with your friends, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.